Loop Internet. This is Krista Funkatz, and this is gonna be, I guess, like a pseudo review of the BAM cool flip right at the get go. This is gonna be a review of the HTC Vivid. Um, I really don't feel like talking about stats, and I'm kinda sick, so I had a whole bunch of cough medicine, and I just drank half a five hour energy drink, so like a two and a half hour energy drink. So, <coughs> oh god. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a review of this phone. Um, first things first, obey your thirst, uh, this is a ridiculously sized phone, like it's, okay, maybe that's not a good comparison, it's the same size as a origami bird, or like, look how big it is, the only things I have around me are awesome cards, and origami, but yeah, um, are you serious? Jace the Mind Sculptor can't even, like, conceal this. Um, I do have an Android Live wallpaper, and this is an AT&T phone, so everyone's going to be comparing it to the iPhone and the iPhone 4S. Um, this is just an iPhone 4. I was going to say it was an iPhone 4S, but some of you Apple jerks would notice the subtle nuances. I don't remember what it is. There's, like, an extra line right there, so they know who to exclude and who to think is cool. Apple pricks. But yeah, look at screen size. Are you are you serious? It stops there, and it's even so much wider, too. Can the iPhone even block the entire screen? Who just got a message? Whose battery is dying? I got too many phones. Yeah, it'll block the whole screen, because that's what people really care about. That's like the main thing that people are asking on all the forums and Yahoo Answers. But if you have the iPhone and you put it on top of the HTC Vivid, would you still be able to see the screen? And the answer is no. Okay. So it's definitely a bigger screen. I mean, if you're just looking for screen real estate, it's the next move. And it looks like a level up phone. Like, this is old shit to me now. <laughs> Um, but I don't know. The HTC Vivid is supposed to be like a godly fast phone. Yes, I only have one page. Whatever. I'll do my fast spin. It won't do it now. Whatever. It's not even... Oh, now it does it. Now it does it. Um, I'm currently fiddling an Evo 3D on Sprint. And it's like... Oh, it doesn't do anything. It's way more responsive, I feel like, and faster. They're both running, I think, since 3.0. But I don't know, it's just like a little bit more responsive, or... And I think this is 1.3 gigahertz, and I think this is 1.2, but I really don't care about numbers, I just care about like the day-to-day -day use. And I don't know, of course I have the brightness different on these devices, because I don't want this to be like a good review. But the screen is a little bit bigger, and it's not even like a top to bottom thing. Like, it, it looks to be the same size like that. Um, it's just straight. Ooh, ooh. It's just a little bit wider. Um, right now on this phone I have no wallpaper and no lock. Oh, it's crazy, and I haven't charged my phone in a while, and it still has battery. Um, the battery on the HTC Vivid is okay. It's it's on par with other Androids. Uh, the first day that I got it, or like the second day that I got it, I was having to charge in the middle <laughs> middle of the afternoon. But I don't know when you get a new Android, it's so it's so overwhelming. It's so overwhelming the whole time. Um, if you're thinking about getting an Android for the first time, you're going to be blown away. Like it's. It's uh, overwhelming. I don't know how else to describe it. This phone retails like uh, for 700 bucks, but go look at my awesome website. Yeah, and now I think it's awesome. It's phonecats.com, and I'll like hook you up and show you deals that are way cheaper. There's one for 425 ending in three hours, but they're always live. And uh, watch my video on sniping, and it'll teach you how to get things. I think it's just my cheap iPad video. Yeah, look at my SEO. Anyways, so the screen's huge, it's serious, um, the back of the device is beautiful. I guess right now, eh, I'll show you that how, how ridiculous this is. This thing is sharp. If anyone has a knife sharpener, you could like razor the sides out of this and then just be like gambit 
ooh, or find some way to put something on the back of it that would make it explode later, then throw it like Gambit. I like X-Men. Uh, okay. What next? Sounds kind of weird. Like, you have that speaker right there, so most of the time when you're playing games, you can, like, cup it like that, and it'll reflect the sound, but... I don't know what the right word is. It's kind of blown out or kind of distorted. It's just not ideal. Uh, the iPhone 4 sounds better. Watch my video where I did like a star dash off. And I don't know. It just sounds like blown out or it's it's just lower quality sound. But if you get this phone, it's like the ego phone just because it's so godly huge sized. Um, I think I did this in another one of my videos, but whatever. Like just the battery plate that doesn't even cover the entire device is like <laughs> comparable to the iPhone 4 do you remember when phones were still trying to get smaller and smaller and that was appealing like look how fast things change ugh now it's thin, thin is in um, it's not as thin as the iPhone obviously and they do that dumb little antenna hump um, I hope this video is actually helping someone that was thinking about buying one of these, because this has been, like, ranty as hell. I guess I'll show you, like, a camera video or whatever. Uh, there we go. We're cool. We got this. Okay, and this is actually pretty beautiful. Get ready. Uh, just a normal pick. It's, I, I just took that. It's just, like, of my disgusting floor shoes and running headphones but look man you got like carpet fibers look at my headphones look at these asics beyond the basics you can see like the mesh you can see how you can see the material of my shoes oh you can see my soul the other ones aren't as good here's a quick video from outside just to give you a feel And it's nice, like, when you're just walking around with it while it's filming, like, it's it's actually pretty impressive. I tried to go a little macro on it, and it wasn't feeling it. Whatever weird cacti thing that is. Anyways, I'm already bored with that. Uh, yeah, look at things. Look at, look at these cards. No, that's not that's not doing anything. On day to day, on a day to day basis, this phone's pretty good. Um, it's huge, so when I put it in my pocket, I put the screen facing my leg, like facing my thigh, and then um, I don't even wear like snug jeans. But this phone's so ridiculous, though, that you'll have this like imprint right here, just poking out of your pocket. And I don't know, if you want to, like, <laughs> do it the other way, and then you just have this, like, tablet sticking out of your pocket, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, I hope they keep making bigger phones like this, because when you're playing games, it's so close to tablet dish. Oh, my cards. But yeah, um, if you're a gamer and on AT&T and kind of wondering what the deal is, check out that Stardash video where I play them. Because it doesn't, it's it's like a next level device. It's it's screen game over. They tried to. Do you remember that phone? I think it was the Dell Streak or something like that. That was like a huge phone, but it just had a sluggish OS, and they messed it up. And then everyone was just like, "Oh, too big, too big to fail, or too big to be cool, or whatever." Uh, okay. Was this the best review ever, or the worst? I'm probably not even going to upload this. Jesus. Phone cats.